I'm going to show you all about PowerScan. We're calling this PowerScan 2 because the product's been around for a number of years. And the number 2 version is way better, more powerful, and it's also part of stock vision. The essence of PowerScan, as most of our trading software, is technical analysis, which is the study of charts. There's all kinds of patterns and occurrences that traders use to find you know, various setups in good uh, trading prospects. Except there's one problem. What about the live market? You got 3,000 stocks all on the move. 3,000. That's if you're only looking at stocks with decent volume. If you look at all stocks, that would be like something like 6,000. Setups can appear at any time. So good luck finding your favorite setup. It's next to impossible. Now, there are products out there that scan for setups, but those mostly look at end-of-day data or snapshots. That's fine if you're going to be set up the night before and do some kind of long-term trading, but it's terrible when it comes to new setups that are occurring live in the market that moves. PowerScan lets you locate your favorite chart setups at any interval in real time. It does so as follows. PowerScan has what we call filters. A filter is something that you can create, or there's some built-in ones as well. Each filter has <coughs> formulas. A formula is some kind of occurrence like volume is above normal, price is above a certain moving average. There's 50 or so different indicators you can use that most traders like to use. And you can give your own criteria for those formulas. When all those formulas are true, you're alerted. Now that filter is applied against 2,500 stocks in real time. This is all done for you. And it will alert you when one of them trips. <clears throat> Let me show you how you do that. I'll show you by how do you create a filter. First of all, you have to open up the filter manager, which is PowerScan itself. So you see right down here is PowerScan. Click on it once, you come up with the filter generator. All right, now, before I do the filter, I want to show you what I'm up against, what I want to find, just for demonstration purposes. The indicator I'm showing on this chart is the slow stochastic. Now, notice that when the green line crosses the red line, simply put, the stock tends to move higher. You see, look at right there. We have a cross, and the stock went up and up and up for about a week. Right there, it crosses sharply and really soars. You see that? So it would behoove us to find all stocks in which this slow stochastic is exhibiting that pattern. All right, so let's do that. Let's go into the uh, PowerScan filter maker, and we'll say, we'll call this, we'll say new filter when you want to start a new one. Click New Filter and go Slow, I'm going to call it Slow Stochastic Finder. And we need to add a formula. So let's go Add Formula. We've got Indicators and Crossovers, which is what that is. Scroll down. These are alphabetical. Oh, here we are, Slow Stochastic. So let's add it. Once it's added... We can now see there's various parameters we can change. First of all, we can set the interval to anything. Daily chart, weekly chart, one minute, three minutes, five minutes, etc. Let's just do the daily chart. You can also start from the current bar of the chart, or you can go back bars, like a previous bar, two bars ago. That could be really powerful stuff, because you could look at things that happened like yesterday in, in compared to today. Um... I'm going to say I want this thing to have, I want the stochastic to have crossed up. And I want it to have crossed up by 5%. Okay? By up meaning the, the stochastic has reversed and the stock might now have upside. Now, this is important for you guys doing crossovers. You want to make sure the crossover checkbox is on if you want to detect a crossover. In other words, if the stochastic, in this case, if the condition of the stochastic line is positive 
It could have happened three days ago. It'll still alert you on that stock because it is above, it is in positive territory. But by checking the crossover only, it's only going to alert you if this if it's just recently, like today, has crossed. Okay, so our filter is done. We just close the window, and now let's run it. The way you run it is, first of all, you get your power scan list by clicking on the word power scan right there. And what do we call that? Stochastic finder? Yeah, here we are, slow stochastic finder. You click on it. Now it's analyzing 2,500 stocks in real time, and it's going to kick in which ones tripped, if any. Got to hope we have some. Yeah, there's quite a few. You see that? There's one. There's another one. And another one. Now, you can see what's happening. You see that? The lines are meeting, and it's if you look closely enough, it's like by one pixel. The stochastic lines have crossed. But look how fast it found those for us. Now, if you want to refine that, you'd go back to the filter and add maybe a couple other things, like maybe volume. Just for, just for demo purposes, let's go do that. Let's go back to the filter. Yeah, slow stochastic finder, and let's add formula. What do we want? We want uh, I'm trying to find which indicator. We want um, volume change. Yeah, volume change. Here we go. Volume change. Well, so now what we're looking for is in addition to the stochastic cross, we want to find stocks that are trading well above normal volume. So I'm going to leave, leave the defaults here, which is 250% above normal. Let's leave it at that and see if anything kicks in. So now the, the new filter will not only show us everybody who's crossed in the stochastic line, but it'll show us everyone who has and has tr is trading well above normal volume. So we click it. It's reanalyzing the 2,500. We might not. We might get nothing. It's thinking about it. Oh, we got we got one, two, three, four. Pretty cool, huh? So now if that's if that were your criteria for trading, you now have four trading candidates. In Stock Vision, if you want to see what the news is, you click on news and it comes up with Yahoo Finance News. That's pretty slick. If you want to paper trade it, you click on the one you want and go paper trade. This is very powerful stuff, and you really can't do without your custom setups. The one powerful feature I should mention with PowerScan is once you've run a filter, when you're looking at a certain view, without that filter running, if you notice in this pop-up menu, you now have the filters that you've just run recently. In this case, it's the Slow Stochastic Finder. <clears throat> if you select that there, It'll show you where that filter would have tripped on any stock that you're looking at. Okay, in this case, it tripped here and here and here and here and here. You can, so in other words, you can see how well the stock does against your filter. Remember, track trading works like that, but you could do this with your own custom guys. <clears throat> Here's one that didn't perform well at all, so you wouldn't even consider that if it trips on the, on the filter now. This one has not done well either. This one, however, has done very well with that filter. It succeeded here, 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 failed there, succeeded here. Okay, so it looks like it succeeded like, you know, six out of eight times. So that alone is ultra powerful. Go to your filters that you've run recently, select them in the pop-up, and any stock you're looking at in this chart will show you where and when that filter would have tripped and alerted you for that stock. And you can see how it performed. All right?